Hello everyone, welcome to today's stream. Um, for those of you who watch regularly, you may notice that I've made some significant changes to the overlays and stuff, so please let me know how you guys feel about that. In fact, I'm gonna shift this thing down here while we speak, because that's a better place for it. Okay. Um, today, uh, I'm planning to do my Ultima 7 nodes, uh, my Beta 4 nodes, jumping into um, Dark Dimension 3 for the day, and then I figure we'll switch over to the baby account, um, because now that we've got raids regularly going on that account, um, I can show you guys some lower level content uh, working on that stuff. So we got plenty to do today, and once we get through all that stuff, um, if you guys want, maybe we can do some Blitz Roulette, maybe we can do some PvP stuff, we'll see how everyone feels. Okay. Alright, hopefully everyone's having a good day today. I know I'm in a pretty good mood today. I actually, uh, I try to, whenever possible, wear uh, Marvel t-shirts when I stream. Right now I'm wearing my uh, original Avengers uh, t-shirt here, but uh, I actually just purchased an X-Men t-shirt that I'm pretty excited about that'll arrive in a couple weeks, so I am happy about that. Okay, so we're going to jump right into Ultima 7 here. We're not going to waste any time. I see people already starting to hit stuff. Really proud of Jigabachi here. He's uh, he's come a long way in a really, really short time. Um, and he's now really putting points on the board now, which is it's just great. So, kudos to Mr. Jigabachi. Alright, we're on team 1 here. Lane 1 is my assigned lane, so we're going to jump right into that. Um, thinking about maybe mixing up the team comp a little bit. This is actually a carryover for something else. Um, here is my normal team. I'll pull that up. I'm going to drop Shuri. We're going to drop these characters. Alright, so we're going to go with Carnage. We're going to go with Symbiote Spider-Man. We're going to keep Ultron here. We're going to keep Minerva here. I want to do something a little fresh. We did just recently get Black Bolt. I'm just a little worried about the sustain for the team if I do it this way. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Ultron out, throw Black Bolt in the middle there, and then I'm going to go with... I think I'm gonna go with. She's too low of a level. Maybe I'll go with Shuri. Where is she? She's gotta be up here somewhere. There we go, Shuri. Alright, I'm gonna try it with this team and see how it does. <clears throat> I just like mixing things up every once in a while. Keep things a little fresh. Throw defense up with Shuri. Um, 
Pyro is going to be my primary target here, so we'll throw some bleeds from Carnage onto him. Alright, so Pyro actually bled out, which was good. Big damage from Black Bolt, even though, you know, he's at a relatively low level compared to most of the other characters on the team. He's just got amazing damage output. Uh, I'm actually going to prioritize Magneto here and hit him with the slow just that he doesn't have a chance to blind the team because I don't have the debuff clear since I'm not running uh, Scientist Supreme. Oh, you like the new background, huh, Shara? Thank you, thank you, appreciate it. Always trying to push some new stuff out for you guys. Make the stream a little more watchable. I'm, I'm looking into picking up some royalty-free music for the uh, for the stream. It's amazing. It's amazing. He's such a good character. I'm not going to waste his ult. Oh, Shara, we got some new stuff with stream elements in. Um, so you can actually do this. Yeah, look at that. The link should work. I think. I believe the link should work. Yeah, if you need to, just drop a line here in chat so I can see it. And I will get on that for sure. Um, let's look at Black Bolt here, because I think it's his... This passive is just so good. It's just so good. On top of the fact that characters killed by Black Bolt can't revive, whenever an enemy drops below 25% health, he gets a free attack on them for 150% damage. That's crazy. And if they're a villain tech enemy, it's even more. It's just... It's such a good passive. It's just so good. And then he also, on top of it, he also um, gives max health to Inhuman Allies and resistance to Inhuman Allies. He's just such a good character. He really is. I mean, there's a, there's a number of characters now that are um, identified as god-tier characters, but Black Bolt really embodies that distinction, in my opinion. Yeah, no, I think this war is definitely a win for us but I do have one attack left so if you need it just give me a holler shiny new black bolt he is awesome he is awesome anyway enjoying using him in ultimate 7 that's all I can say so here we go bam I'm liking this team this team is gonna be a much quicker clear This team is definitely going to be a quicker clear. So I'm glad that you like the new overlay, Shara. I wasn't... It looks a little busy. I wasn't sure if people would like it or not. Here, you know what? Let me uh, also just go ahead and full screen that. Um, but I'm glad that you like it. You, you're not having any trouble seeing the, uh, the game screen or anything, right? It's not too small. Awesome. That is a lot of bleed. Woof. I 
I love his sound effects too. Well, even though the screen's a little smaller because I don't have overlay stuff on top of it now, it's probably a little easier to see everything, actually. Because it's... While the stream screen is less crowded, the actual display screen is less crowded now. Let's get that defense down. Throw it around. The passive attack is absurd! It's so good! Black Bolt, where have you been all my life? It's absurd how good that is! <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, I didn't need to do that, whatever doesn't even matter anymore doesn't even matter anymore we're just gonna basic attack our way through the rest of this node to conserve cooldowns Should go ahead and use her heal here because I need it. He just does not want to go down. Yeah, this team is so good, Shara. This is such a good team. That's more like it. Jeez, Juggernaut is just such a tough SOB. He really is. Nice. Easy peasy. Shara, I want you to keep me honest. I'm going to try different teams. Every day I stream Ultima 7 now. Just to keep things fresh for everybody watching. And that way I can be the guinea pig that experiments with new reasonable teams. Because for too long I was just uh, snoozing through it with that uh, really conservative build. And I just uh, I want to be a little more of a chance taker there. So... I know you do. That's why I'm asking you to do it, because I know that you'll come through. You always do. Come on and load, please. Thank you.
<laughs> I know, you love your experimentation with Ultima 7. With everything in general, you like those new teams. Alright, we're gonna throw bleeds on Carnage to get the ball rolling. Extend the duration. Nice. Alright, Carnage. Carnage is going to be out from Bleed. Venom, I think we need to peg one more time here. Maybe two. Maybe we'll hit him with the slow. Yeah, he should bleed out now. So we can turn our focus over to Iron Fist here. Alright, so he's down. Venom's about to drop. We'll get Iron Fist next. Alright, he'll bleed out now. Put some damage on Daredevil. Oh, we just got him with um, Symbiote Spidey's basic instead. Black Bolt's passive takes out Daredevil. It's wild. It's just so good. Um. likely bleed out now. Uh, when it gets to Shuri's turn, I'm gonna go ahead and heal with her. Yeah, there he goes. Let's get defense down on Carnage so that we can take him out a little easier. Okay, heal off. Get that defense up just because I don't want to lose anybody. <clears throat> there we go, perfect. Throw the slow here. <laughs> Passive takes out another one. Oh my goodness. Ah, uh, I'm gonna laugh every time it happens, I'm just letting you guys know. This is still new for me, so every time it happens I'm gonna be surprised. Come on, a little faster. It's up this to three times here. It's gonna be tight, guys. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna do it. We're gonna try to auto out the end of this. Unless someone gets a big ult, that's not gonna matter. Nope. Alright. We'll have to hit that note again a second time. That's okay.
I'm really not worried about it. Nice. Hey, Stamp. Yeah, Saturdays, uh, Saturdays I stream early. We're just, uh, we're trying my new, my new Black Bolt on for size in Ultima 7, because I haven't done that yet. And he is not disappointing at all. Every time he kills someone with his passive, I'm astounded. Every time. It's like Christmas. <laughs> oh, you do? Awesome, thank you. Yeah, everyone who comes in, I've been asking them about it because I want to make sure that it looks good and it's not too distracting. So I'm glad that you like it, absolutely. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. No, he's a great character. It's not... I'm not surprised by the fact that he's a great character. I know he is, but like... You know, it's one thing to read an ability and say like, Oh, okay, so every time somebody drops below 25% health, he attacks them. But then like, seeing how much damage he does every time he does it, like, that is such a broken passive. And that's not all his passive does. Like, that would be enough. His passive prevents enemies he kills from being res revived. Every time an enemy drops below 25%, he hits him for 150% damage and does additional damage if they're tech villains. And his passive also gives humongous passive stat increases for resistance and max health for himself and inhumans. It's absurd. I think that's the best ability in the game, hands down best ability in the game as far as a single ability goes bang for your buck investment in ability best one in the game all right let's get this party started here defense up to everybody defense down on Drax throw an alt out with Black Bolt and Minerva okay, I'm gonna slow this to two times here so we can see what's going on finish off Drax okay slow these guys Oh, you just went to Disney, huh, Stamp? I love it. Disney World. Walt Disney World is my literal favorite place on Earth. Ah, oh, that's awesome. I'm so jealous. I can't wait to go back. The last time I was in uh, Disney World was... Um... 2018, I want to say. No, it had to be, had to maybe be 20, now I don't remember, maybe it was 2016, 2017, that area. Too long ago is the answer, too long ago. Oh, that's awesome. We'll have to meet up in Disney sometime, Stamp. Obviously, I can't go there as often because I'm up here in New York. Oh, that was stupid. Um... 
I'm really hoping to take Cassie um, when she's four. So not this year, but next year, probably December of 2021 is, is my goal to take her down there for the first time. He will probably bleed out there for that one, so. Oh no, hmm. Oof. Some pretty heavy damage we just took. There we go. Alright, he might bleed out. Let's focus on... We're gonna stay focused on Venom here. The new Star Wars land? Oh, I didn't even realize it was open. That's amazing. Yeah, no, I definitely need to go see that. 100%. <laughs> Shara flexing uh, her senior status here. Flexed. Gotta manage our cooldowns, however. I wanna see. <sighs> no, I don't have her heal, unfortunately. Alright, we're okay. We're not we're not in a terrible, terrible way on this. You've been five times, the last time you went was a month before your nineteenth birthday. Wow. You gotta get back there, Shara. Alright, so, those are our Ultima 7 nodes for now. We're going to jump over to Beta 4 here. Yeah, it is far and expensive. You're not wrong. You are not wrong. So, Oron's going that way. It looks like nobody's taking these nodes, so I'll jump into that. Because that's also normally not the path we pick. Skill or tech. Ultron. War machine. I think that's what I want to do. Now they have smugglers run where you fly the Millennium Falcon and rise the resistance to something unbelievable. Interesting. Yeah, I can't wait. Can't wait to see it. You're selling a kidney. <laughs> That's awesome, man. You're lucky. I'm jealous. Canadian dollar sucks right now. You can't cross the border anyway, yeah. Well, obviously with COVID, you can't right now anyway, but... Yes, the Canadian dollar is unfortunately not terribly strong versus the American dollar.
For Rise of the Resistance, you gotta be there before Hollywood Studios even opens like 7.30 and some quick fingers to get the boarding passes. Yeah. I have heard that. Let's go ahead and delete Doctor Strange. Get him. You don't care about that, you're pretending it didn't happen, you're happier that way. <laughs> Hey, v how you doing? Been a while. Good to see ya. Yeah, I know I, I stream at kind of weird hours usually. Uh, during the week, it's 9.30, uh, 9.30 at night Eastern time, which can be tough for some people. I didn't see the new footage or, or details yet, um, Stamp. Why don't you go ahead and enlighten me? I was aware that there there was uh, a release, but I haven't seen it yet. You trying to be good and go to bed 1 a.m. your time? Well, if you're, you're ever looking to catch me on the Saturday streams, I start 6 p.m. Eastern. You know, so that's considerably early, earlier, uh... That might be something you can catch. And then, of course, the Sunday tabletop stream we do, that's, uh, that's really early. That's morning my time. Hey, thanks so much for the follow, Pi. I didn't realize you weren't following already, man. We're not going to waste the ult while we don't have the positive effects on him because then we're just never getting it back again. Yeah, that happens to me sometimes, Pi, where I think I have somebody followed and then it's like, or, or if, maybe it's unfollowing people. I've heard that people have that happen to them. Then I'm like, I know I was following this person and then I'm not suddenly. Bam, 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 rocket raccoon. Wow, he allows you to summon both of them. If you guys remember, I was talking the other day about that, that originally I was really excited by the announcement about Doc Ock because it allowed you to have six people on the field and that was going to make a big difference. And then when we found out about Swarm, I kind of walked that back a little bit because I'm like, oh, is it going to be RNG? How are they going to determine that? If you can have all seven of them, I'm going back to my original statement. They're going to be a top tier team. You thought he summons one from a list which is in a certain order. That sounds more realistic to me, because having seven characters out on the field is way too powerful. But if you look at the footage on strike time, it shows all seven on the field. That's crazy. That's really, really strong. So, the, the ability to have a sixth person on the field is not to be underestimated, especially a non 
summon like minion type character. Um, as uh, Mr. Sinister has shown us, right? Mr. Sinister being able to clone someone, yes, I mean, on top of it, you're picking which character from the enemy team to pick, but just having another character changes the action economy and gives you a huge edge, right? If he brings two extra characters in, that's huge. It's huge. Um, if I'm not mistaken, they're tying it that he... It has to be with the Sinister Six, though. You can't, like, just throw him on a team and pull two extra people in. His, his ult flips buffs to debuffs and extends debuffs. That's cool. That's very cool. Lots of opportunities there for the team. What v -Roll said is what their game designer program said. See, that's what I thought, Shara. I thought it was going to be, it pulls one from a list. I was worried it was going to be RNG. If it's at least from a list and it has a priority, that makes me feel better. I'm still, even if you only get the six, I feel better. And it doesn't matter that it's his, it's not his passive. Um, Mr. Sinister, it's not his passive that brings in the clone. That's fine. Um... But even having him only bring in a sixth member, but it's from a set list and you know what you're getting, because that, that was my big concern, was that it was going to destroy the consistency of the team. If you know what you can consistently pull and you can plan for it, that's going to be a top tier team. And especially if he can flip buffs to debuffs, that means it's a team that can potentially go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Black Order. Alright, we've got enough buffs on him that I feel comfortable ulting, because we're going to get that 4 energy back. Well, hello, Thor. Bye! It does show all seven on the field. I wonder if that was just for the purpose of, like, advertising all of the Sinister Six characters. Because that, that to me, is too powerful. You know, that, that changes the action economy too much. Um... I think we're gonna try to maybe just yeah we're just gonna basic our attack the rest of our way through this node for preservation of cooldowns here when electro is inevitably added it might be eight which would be bonkers right no he can't pull them all he's got to be pulling them from a list and then when they release electro electro will just get added to that priority order which makes sense that is logical and reasonable strong but reasonable. Having all of them out at once would be unreasonable. Alright, yeah, there we go. Take him out before he gets to use his charge status for sure. Easy peasy. Swarm has charges, and the person on strike time mentioned something about multiple characters on S6 having charge. Yeah, it's probably going to be uh, Electro. That would not surprise me. That would not surprise me at all. All right, Mystic or Tech or Sinister Six. Let's actually swap Rocket here for Thor, and let's actually take Shuri off and throw Hella on for these nodes.
Yeah, they do mention Electro in the Storm campaign, that's right. Cannot wait for the next Ebony Maw event. I wailed out, by the way. I am... I am... I'm not ashamed, but I feel a little dirty. I actually wailed out on Karnak for 30 bucks, which... Karnak is an absolute waste of money. But the way I'm justifying it to myself is I spent 30 bucks to ensure that I get Ebony Maw, and Ebony Maw is certainly worth 30 bucks. But still, it was Karnak, and I do feel dirty. But... It's fine. Everything's fine. And honestly, I was using a lot of campaign energy every day to ensure that I was maintaining the four shards a day I would need to make sure I had him. And now I can shift that effort towards increasing Black Bolt's power, and that's... That's time better well spent also, so... It's fine. It's gonna be hard for you because you'll get him, but I can't upgrade him. Yeah. I get it. I have to upgrade all my uh, my Black Order characters. I really haven't because I didn't have them all and I said to myself it wasn't worth it until I had them. But now that I'm looking at getting him soon, I have to start uh, really ramping up my efforts there. Let's go ahead and spread that love there. They will bleed out. I don't want to buy Glaive because you got Midnight from Omega. So here's here's my two cents if you want it, uh, Pie Man. It's not worth getting the two of them if you don't have... It wouldn't be terrible, but they're really not great outside of Black Order, those two. Those are the weakest members of Black Order. They're, they're good together, but compared to the rest of Black Order, they're considerably weaker. I... I can't think of a team that I would feel comfortable putting them on that there aren't better choices for the team, you know what I'm saying? Like, what team are you going to put them on that they synergize with the rest of the team? I don't think they really do. So my thing is like, Cull Obsidian is one of the best protectors in the game, standalone. Whether, whether or not he's on Black Order, he's just immensely strong. Um, Thanos has a lot of different teams he synergizes well with. Um, Ebony Maw has a lot of different team, a lot of different teams he synergizes with. Proxima Midnight and uh, Corvus Glaive, they work on Black Order, and they work with each other, but outside of that, they don't do much. He'll get them all eventually, but I think he's gonna have other opportunities, like, he's not gonna be able to get Ebony Maw this, this go-around for sure. I don't know if he'll be able to get him the next go-around or not. I'd have to look at his roster to have a better idea. But if he's not going to get him this or the next time around, there's really no reason for him to invest in Corvus Glaive. Hey, thanks so much for the follow. Um, there's really no reason for him to invest in those two characters because there's other characters he can invest in that will be more immediately useful for him. Guess you're going to spend the 30 you're better off with Colossus. 100%. Colossus is a much better choice. I feel very comfortable telling you invest in Colossus over... Um, over Corvus Glaive, 100%. Are, are you in agreement, Stamp? I think Stamp would agree that, given the choice between those two and where you stand, Colossus is probably the better pick there. Let's be mindful of our cooldowns for the rest of this node. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to use my ult there. Yeah, you already have a strong um, X-Men team. Colossus is the right way to go. Pie. And that too. It is harder to get a good uh, a good tank. I'm glad we're in agreement, Stamp. <laughs> uh, I love it.
Thank you again for the follow. Uh, is that supposed to be Nietzsche Gamer? You're pretty far from farming him, though. Absolutely, yeah. But that's why you'll get him. At your current power level, just having the, the X-Men team is going to make a huge difference. Oh, this is going to be bio, so we're going to take these guys off. We're going to throw Carnage and Symbiote Spidey on. And we'll leave the other three as is. Ms. Marvel's technically a better tank than half the actual tanks in the game, in your opinion. Um... I don't disagree. I don't know that I feel strongly in agreement, but I don't disagree. She's she's really good under specific situations. Here, here's the thing about Miss Marvel. I feel like when you're fighting her, there's a lot of ways to control the situation that makes her less powerful, if that makes sense. Sherry, yeah, it is a lot of work to be able to farm Colossus. Um, so Miss Marvel, I feel like you can control her a little bit more easily, whereas a lot of the other protectors, because they can taunt um, on command, as it were, um, y there's less you can do to control, or rather limit their control of the battlefield. Miss Marvel, you can tailor your targets and stuff to make it that by the time she steps up to really act as a protector, the damage is kind of done, if you know what I mean. Yes, she's great on a hero brawler team with those assists and stuff, and um, obviously on Young Avengers she does very well, but... Uh, I don't know. I also have never been a personal fan. Not to say it's not good, but I've never been a personal fan of the, the Brawlers team. Um, I just feel like there's a lot better options. You thought buying X-Men would really help you with Magneto, but Storm is so far. Colossus is so far, and Cyclops isn't farmable. Yeah, not not to unlock him at, uh, at five stars, unfortunately. Um, though some people have used it as sort of a stepping stone, um, to just build a good team and also get characters that can go towards it. Yeah, one day at a time. You can't rush too much, Pi. In enjoy the stage of the game you're at. You've got, uh, hopefully years ahead of you to, uh, to stress about different legendaries and stuff. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna basic the rest of the way through this node to manage our cooldowns here. And you're doing really great, man. I mean, I love that you're you're in the uh, the second alliance now, and I can actually see you uh, you performing with the other guys. You're doing great. There's no need to rush. Her taunt is odd, but it comes when you really kind of need it. I, d I don't disagree, Stamp. Um, especially in Dark Dimension, she's a real giant pain in the ass. But. Uh, but you don't see a ton of use for her outside of that, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, once upon a time she was on a bunch of different defender teams in arena and stuff, but that was before the meta kind of left them behind. Like, there's not a lot of teams I see her being used in, because it's not that she's not good, but it's, it's opportunity cost, you know what I mean? Like, there's better options. When you've got better options, you're not going to choose someone that's going to give you less than optimal results. Alright, so we made it through our uh, our raid nodes here. We're actually going to jump into Dark Dimension now. Speaking of Miss Marvel being a giant pain in the ass in Dark Dimension. So we're Dark Dimension 3 here. Um, still chipping away at the third node, which is just painful. Nothing short of painful. Still have not been able to get Carnage to T14, and actually I'm kind of wishy-washy on Carnage to T14 now, because I'm thinking Black Bolt may be a better option for me. Her taunt is odd, but it comes when you really kind of need it. 
Do I think shield security is a good tank? I think shield security is a good tank on a shield team. Outside of that, I wouldn't pick him over Juggernaut or Colossus or Cull or um, a number of other characters. I wouldn't call him a top tier tank, I'll say. Yeah, absolutely, Pi. Communication and, and coordination, that's, that's my saying. Who, who are you saying are virtually the same? Yeah, so I want... Here's the thing. I want Carnage to T14. Regardless. Long term, I want Carnage to T14. Um, but... I feel like Black Bolt's gonna give me higher damage output... Um, in general. I will need Carnage, I think, for the City Nodes at the end of Dark Dimension 3, but I think, if I'm being honest with myself, I'm still a ways away from dealing with that. Um, and they both use the same gear as the problem. So, I'm kinda torn. I'm kinda torn. I do love Carnage. Yeah, yeah, Miss Marvel and Shield Security are both situational. I don't, I don't disagree. I don't disagree. I mean, Aim Security is way better than shield security in my opinion. You think Black Bolt should be a second run investment? That's fair. I I may take your advice there, Stamp. All right. Effing opening taunt from Drax. I hate it, but fine. You loving him? Now we're gonna have Phoenix out. Drop that defense down on everybody. You'd rather have the Carnage and Symbiote synergy in DD3. You're not wrong. You might have done a no-no investing in Wolvie a lot. Should I look for someone to replace him on X-Men since that's my main team? No, I think Wolverine should be one of your primaries. Um, oh, I was gl I'm glad I was able to get that off on Phoenix. Um, so, obviously now there's a number of choices on X-Men, which is great. It's a good position to be in to have choices. Um... People have mixed feelings about Beast. I love Beast. I think Beast is a absolute yes choice in most cases. He's literally only got on the X-Men, so you shouldn't replace him just yet. You hear people poo on him a lot. So, let me say that I don't think that Wolverine is an astounding character by any stretch of the imagination. Um... But, if you have Colossus, Wolverine's damage is very respectable. His self-heal gives the team a little bit of sustain, which is helpful because they don't have a lot of it. Um, so, my flex spots are not, not Wolverine. My flex spots are Storm and or Psylocke. Those are my flex spots. Um, and you, you don't have Phoenix yet, so that's really, if you had Beast, I would say Beast is, is a go-to for the team, and Storm and Psylocke are my suggested flex spots. Let me actually open up my roster here. Phoenix, if you have her, is a no-brainer. Phoenix belongs on the X-Men team, 100%. 
Um, Cyclops, if you have him, is a no-brainer. Cyclops belongs on the X-Men team. Colossus, if you have him, is a no-brainer. Um, Colossus belongs on the X-Men team. Where's my Colossus? Here he is, because I am still farming. There you go. I can actually stop that, because I'm not farming him. Um, and that brings us to the other characters. I love Beast. I love the idea of Beast, I love Beast as a character, I think that people underestimate his kit, but he's great. Uh, he brings sustain to the team, and they don't have a lot of sustain without him. He buffs your primary players, as I'm calling them, Phoenix, Cyclops, uh, Colossus. He, he does wonderful things for the team. Yeah, he's, he's great. I know that you missed him, but he's great. So if you have the choice, I say go for Beast, 100%. What about the other characters? So, Wolverine synergizes with Colossus and uh, Phoenix. So, Wolverine's a good choice, I think. Storm has an interesting kit. I really like the passive chance... Where's my Storm? I really like the passive chance for her to uh, have an X-Men assist on every X-Men's turn. Is great. Um, her charges don't build up very quickly. Now, Beast changes that. If you have Beast on the team, they, they, uh, she generates charges two for one, the way Cyclops does when his uh, passive is maxed out. Um, but even then, because her damage is on the low side, you really need to stack up a lot of charges to get Storm of the Century rolling, and that's not a great situation to be in. Now, X-Men are not a raid team normally, but with the addition of Beast, X-Men can be a raid team. And if you're using them in raid, Storm becomes more valuable because now when you've got, let's say, three waves in a raid node, you can generate charges over multiple nodes and then use her to wipe out the last node. Holy ish, been building a beast and checking him out. Beast and Storm with Cyclops, Phoenix, Colossus, Super Wow, the team's kicking butt. Granted, you haven't experimented with Beast and Wolverine instead of Storm, so you have to update that later. I try it with, uh, with Beast and Wolverine also. But yeah, they're awesome. They're awesome. It's a great team. Um, the big beam attack, yeah, his, his, uh, optic, what is it, optic, uh, blast is amazing. It's, like, one of the best AoEs in the game, in my opinion. Um, Cyclops is amazing. But anyway, so that's, that's my take on Storm, is she belongs in the X-Men raid team, which, um, Phoenix doesn't belong on. So, you put Beast in Phoenix's spot, you keep Storm in the fifth spot. Um, in my opinion, you stick with Wolverine. Colossus and Cyclops in the other three spots for raiding, okay? Arena is a different story. Arena, typically, the build is Phoenix, Cyclops, Colossus, um, Storm, and Psylocke. Right? Did I do that right? Yes. I say in that situation, you either drop Storm or Psylocke for Beast if you have Beast. Based on the situation. The situation being, if you're going against a team like Spider-Verse, if you're going up against a team like Brotherhood, a team that drops a lot of negative effects, Psylocke is the obvious choice, because she'll take those negative effects and she'll throw them on the enemy team. If you're going against teams that don't rely on debuffs, or have a lot of buffs of their own, I say go with Storm in that case and drop Psylocke from the team. So that's my hot take. It really depends on their usage. I think Arena, Psylocke is more favored. I think Raid, Storm is more favored, and obviously Beast. Um, and then outside of that, you use them based on what you need. So again, if you're using your X-Men in challenges, you want Beast and Phoenix, because when Phoenix becomes Dark Phoenix, it counts as a death unless Beast's on the team. Yeah, I love the emotes. Go for it. Love it, love it. How you doing, Optimus? Good to see you, man. Loving how everyone's doing in the uh, in the raids. I'm actually going to be jumping over to the baby account now, um, my free-to-play account, to hit my raid nodes over there. So we're actually going to do that here. Okay, bring up this. All right. So this is, this is our new, the second alliance in the cluster. Um, 
This is my baby strictly free to play account. I have not spent a dime on this account um, because I'm doing it to, to maintain the integrity of being able to help viewers who are free to play. Um, I started this account on August, August 5th, I want to say, I believe August 5th. Um, and currently I have a 34,000 TCP and most of that collection power is locked up in my one strongest team which you can see these are this is my strongest uh, team combination here so happy that I got uh, Thor which it's funny like Thor used to be this throwaway character but after his rework with the Asgardians he's amazing um, crossbones is a, is a great fit especially in early early game arena like whoever has the biggest crossbones wins essentially and I've been kicking ass in arena currently rank five in my cluster and looking to climb there however you can see at least the two people at the top both invested money in Asgardians and both have uh, double my my highest team power but I'm I'm coming for the number three spot soon and then uh, I'll catch up on them I'm not worried I'm gonna catch up but uh, we're gonna jump in, uh, see some fam familiar faces in chat. Love everybody chatting with each other. Um, yeah, let's jump into it, man. Ultimus Four. Uh, we're gonna keep doing Ultimus Four until the average uh, strongest team power in the alliance crosses the 50k power threshold. We're we're at like 20k average um, strongest team power right now. So, and that's like double what it was two three days ago so we're we're doing really well as far as alliance growth is is concerned i'm on strike team one here all right so first node here <laughs> go baby alliance i love it okay, we'll get some baby alliance emote love here hold on and we're also gonna wail harder here boom love it love it love it um all right so normally i wouldn't be using uh shield uh, medic here but for raids um sustain is important and so she's gonna bring some sustain to the team that I don't have otherwise um, I'm gonna go with Jessica Jones just for ability power generation and resistance um, sticking with Thor as my one of my primary damage dealers same for Punisher and uh, Luke Cage is obviously my uh, my protector here and you get some synergy because, you know, these guys are the city heroes slash defenders over here. As an early game he heal or shield medic is not just great, but also kind of all you have for a while. Uh, until you start, and unless you get a lucky pull, or unless you, um, you really go pretty hard uh, on Night Nurse, uh, shield medic is really your only reliable healer for a while in the early game. Here, let's slow this down to two times. All right. So first one I want to take out here is Star Lord because he's an ability energy battery. Um, so we want to get rid of him early. Sounds good. See you soon, Shara. Shield medic and Mantis as a healing combo early game is awesome. I don't disagree. I mean, Mantis as a healer is awesome regardless. She is fantastic for raids. Especially before you start getting legendary healers like Invisible Woman and Shuri. Um, Mantis is one of the best that you can come by. Get that heal off with shield medic here. Generate some ability energy. Big damage from Thor. Thor's, I think, my second most powerful character on the secondary account. 
Mantis is the second best raid healer in the game. I'm trying to think if I agree with that statement. Again, I don't I don't have a knee-jerk disagreement, I'm just trying to think. So you got Shuri. Amazing. Invisible Woman is technically a healer. I mean it's she's doing it primarily via barrier, but it has the same essential effect. She's you know providing sustain. You pulled the red star from Mantis, congrats. Um Is Mantis the best? So Her heals are literally raid specific. She's she's amazing. But again, everything's opportunity cost, right? So like would I take Mant that's what I ask myself when I'm trying to rate characters. I'm like, would I take Mantis over Shuri? Probably not. Would I take her over Invisible Woman? No. Would I take her over Um Scientist Supreme? No. No, she does have two heals and a stun. It's a one-time stun, which is okay. Um, well, she has the heal and the health transfer, and the health transfer is great because it gets around heal block. Because it's not a heal, it's a health transfer. But she she's really good. I'm I'm not I'm not fighting you that she's not really good. Stamp, especially again early game. Early game, I'd say she's the best healer you can get early game hands down she's the best healer you can get as you're talking about late game I, I think I'm gonna softly disagree with you on that one just because I think opportunity cost wise there's a lot better options that you have out there oh, we lost shield medic oh well um I mean objectively I think the best healer in the game is Minerva Hands down. I think Minerva is the best healer in the game. If you're talking about early game, then I I agree with you. Uh, I mean, yes, I guess technically if you were around to get Minerva from the calendar event, you could consider her early game now. In that case, yes, I'd say Mantis is number two next to Minerva. Um, but... I'm gonna pretend like, all right, let's say someone's joining today and doesn't get Minerva. I would say that um, Mantis is the best early game healer. She just is. But into the late game, she loses efficacy compared to other people. Again, she gets raid specific heals. She's a great healer. I'm not saying she's not a great healer, but power creep and changing meta, I just think there's better options in the late game, that's all. Fastest, easiest healer. No, yeah, we're on the same page there. She is the fastest, easiest to farm, earliest great healer you can get. 100%. I'm on board with that statement. Even early game Mantis heals are healing more than men. Yeah, absolutely. Hand sorcerers. I don't even consider any of the hand characters. They don't exist to me. I, I had to use Nobu and Hand Assassin for Phoenix, and outside of that, they don't exist. They don't exist to me. I have this really funny uh, thing going between uh, Don't Sleep on Hand Sorceress. I have this re Hey, Dudash! How you doing, man? Happy Saturday. Um, it's this really funny thing, Mr. Jigabachi, who's another streamer, who's actually in our, uh, our Higher Power Alliance, he and I have this fun thing that we do where he, like, loves Han, just because he's, like, into ninjas and stuff, and so he's always trying to convince me that Hand is, like, the best in the game, and it just, like, we just have this funny thing between us where I'm like, they're trash, they're always trash, they're always the wrong choice, and he's like, they're so good. It's this thing we do that's funny. What are the Phoenix requirements? Garbage. Um... So, the Phoenix requirements actually caused a lot of controversy when they first released. She's the first legendary character that you had to unlock at 6 stars, as opposed to 5 stars. And it's Villain Mystic Controllers. So, the Villain Mystic Controllers used to just be 5 characters, now at 6, because Hela was added after Phoenix was released, and counts towards it. But it's Ronin from the Kree team, 
It's Hela from Asgardians counts for that. Loki, who's good. Loki's fine. He counts for that. Then it's um, Mordo. Mordo's another good character. You use him on Supernatural Team. That's fine. He's fine. And then it's Nobu and Hand Assassin. And it makes me want to throw up in my mouth. It's the worst. You know, I'm actually going to try to push this a little farther. We're going to go ahead and heal Shield Medic here. Yeah, I've got the energy. You know what? Let's let's get let's get all crazy here. Let's let's try to push a little far. Let's see if I can get three notes done with this baby account. Um, don't sleep on hand sorcerers. They're healing a defense up on the same ability. Get out of here, Sam. <laughs> um, people forget Sinister is great healing too. Absolutely, Sinister is amazing. Emma Frost too, right? She's she's. I know we're not counting her as, like, a healer, quote-unquote, but she's fantastic. Alright, we get that. Oh, he was heal blocked. I do that all the time. I just react without thinking. Um, you freaking love Mordo. Yeah, Mordo's fantastic. Yes, I'm in the top left corner today. I, uh, I decided to migrate over here for this new overlay. Let me know if it's working for you guys. Or, or if you demand that I return to the lower left corner where I belong... And then I'll figure that out. Mordo's your guy, Stamp. You're not getting Phoenix till 2072. It depends on how lucky you get with, with pulling stuff. And, and or how deep your pockets are. Um, like... Here, here's why I was upset. Because I was. I was upset when they announced the Phoenix requirements. I already think it's kind of silly that you need characters that are unrelated to the character you're unlocking to unlock them. But I can buy it, right? That never offended me as I was playing the game, you know, from two years ago to now. Um, so, like, you need S.H.I.E.L.D. to unlock... Iron Man. Iron Man doesn't synergize with S.H.I.E.L.D. Fine, but at least you have a, a viable S.H.I.E.L.D. team, and then eventually when you unlock Nick Fury, you've already got a good S.H.I.E.L.D. team. Fine. I can get behind that. Fine. Star-Lord makes the most sense, because you can use Guardians to unlock him, so at least you've cultivated a team to get him. That's perfect. He's the only one that makes freaking sense. Fine. Not a problem. Nick Fury, you need Kree. Again, he doesn't synergize with them, but at least you have a Kree team. It's fine. All of it's fine. Then Phoenix rolls around, and there's like, hey guys, you're going to use these completely different characters that don't synergize together. Oh, and by the way, you need six stars instead of five, and that was super upsetting. Super upsetting. Now, not all the characters are trash. Loki is a good character, as Guardians are a good team, right? Hell is a good character if you can get her, if you can farm her. She's a fantastic character. Um, Ronan is fine on a Kree team. He's not, you know, no one's raving about him, but he's good. The Kree team got a rework like a year and a half ago, I think. A year ago, a year and a half ago. They're fine. They're good. They're usable. Um, Mordo is good. So those characters are all great characters. And then you have Hand. Fuck out of here with Hand. You only get her because Hela, otherwise I still wouldn't have her. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people invested in Hela and, and were able to get her through that. Damn, if I knew I'd have gotten those starter offers. Yeah, I know. I know, if I knew the things I knew then that I didn't know. In fact, there's a big push in the community, honestly, Pie Man. There's been a really big push in the community, I don't know if it'll go anywhere or not, but that they want to see Fox Next or Scopely now. Um, they want to see them put out like a real road to legendary characters like document, essentially, of like, here's who you need to be farming, and here's how often they come around, and, and let people do it. Because it's kind of like a surprise, right? They'll just quietly be like, here's an offer. If you want this character, and people are like, eh, not right now. And then two weeks later, the Legendary comes out and you wish you bought it. And it's too late, right? It's too late. They don't keep the offers around that long. So a lot of people are upset about that. You can easily beat a Phoenix Arena team with no Phoenix. It depends on how strong the Phoenix is there, Stamp. I shouldn't say that. I don't know what power level your Arena team is, but... You come up uh, against a 100k plus Phoenix and she hits hard. Hard. Uh, we're going to 
gonna start with a heal. Keep these characters alive, hopefully. Clear that. Ah, oh, I didn't clear the second defense up. Alright, we're okay. You find Black Belt more ammunition than Phoenix. Yeah, you're not wrong. Black Bolt is absurdly strong. Obscenely strong. Woof. Bye. Yeah, we're definitely gonna get dumpstered by this node. It's okay. What is this, the fourth node I was tempting today? That's fine. I still completed one more node than I did during the last one with the baby account, so I'm happy. We can jump over to, uh, where I, we have beta 1 up also. You beat a G14-7 Red Star Phoenix at like 117 with no Phoenix? What, what team are you using, Stamp? Yeah! For the moment, sitting on top of the damage chart, that's gonna change. But, for the moment. Invisible Woman kinda wrecks Phoenix. Yeah, I can see that. Alright, how do we wanna do this? Um, I've also seen people um, make the claim that Falcon is really good against Phoenix because he can clear the stealth. You used Hella, Black Bolt, Loki, Ultron, and Captain Marvel. Yeah, okay. You've convinced me that that is uh, that is a team that can invalidate Phoenix. This raid's actually easier than the, uh, the Ultimus 4, so we should have no problem clearing nodes on this one. Gonna go ahead and heal Punisher. But you don't have Ultron yet, Sherry. Yeah, I know. You're gonna get him, though. You're gonna be, and then you're gonna be in love like I am with Black Bolt now. That's just like he's so good. He's so good. You just save the Ultron and Captain Marvel alt for when she's in dark mode and alone. Yep, that's fair. I, that's the really big thing, is if you can avoid killing her early, um, it makes a really big difference. Even then, you don't need to save them, you just did because she was 7 red. Yep. Yep, yep. Started on last Sunday. Dark Dimension 1 you're talking about? You're on Node 11, so 5 left to go. Yeah, you're you're cruising, Chara. You're cruising. Oh, no, you're on Dark Dimension 2. You're getting Ultron, right? Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I'm excited for you. It's good stuff. How's everyone doing on the, the current Blitz? I, uh, I cleared all my milestones on the main account. And then uh, I pumped the brakes. I've been a little fatigued from the last couple events. They've all been characters I've wanted. Um, and with Crystal, I have her at... Uh, I think I have her at six. I think I have it at six stars, and I'm nowhere near seven. So it just wasn't worth me killing myself. You got 992k. The problem is it's just so hard to... To rack up the numbers you need to 
actually get any significant amount of shards. Like, you can bust your ass and spend so much time and effort, and it's like, okay, so you get 35 shards instead of 25 shards. It's like, why did I waste my time and my energy? Like, unless you can post numbers in, like, the 20 millions, it's just not... It's not feasible. And you really can't do that unless you have multiple 500k teams. You just can't do it. The hardest I've ever gone, I think I hit 10 mil in uh, in a blitz. And it put me in the top 2%, which was good, but like, not crazy. You're at zero, okay? <laughs> Are you just not doing this one stamp? You've decided it's just not worth it? Honestly, I think if, if everyone uh, is on their A-game for this beta raid, I think we can actually hit 60% on this one. I don't think we're quite there on Ultimus 4 in the second alliance, but I think we can we can 60% this raid, probably. You can do one rotation to get every monster done, so I have the privilege of just waiting. Yeah, I, I do the same thing. I do... I can do it in one rotation if I do a full rotation. I usually don't want to be bothered, so what I actually do is I just take my top two teams and I hit it... I want to say four times, maybe five times total, and it, it clears the, uh, the milestones that way and I don't spend a ton of time doing it. Yeah, we're gonna take out Miss Marvel first here. Stunner, Thor. Let's get rid of those. Oh, I didn't get rid of his heal block. It's baloney. Yeah, honestly, I'm looking forward to when I can get to the point that I actually have a shot at placing at a reasonable uh, rank in Blitz. Which may only come after they make the changes to Blitz that they're saying they're going to make. You can do about 18 mil, but you choose not to. <laughs> yeah, six hours a day blitzing is brutal. And how many teams do you have over 400k, uh, v -Raw? None? How are you hitting 18 mil? get about a million per rotation. So does that require you to like not sleep?
Just requires six rotations a day over a 12 hour period. That's a lot of effort. That is a lot of effort. All right, let's do an arena battle here. Try to take that number three spot if I can. Uh, before I do... Yeah, no, I'm at max level, all right. It's really worth it for a few extra shards. Yeah, that's what I mean, it's like, it's, it's brutal. It's brutal. Okay, let's go for this number three spot. 6k punch up. Let's see how we do. Um, after I do this arena battle, how would you guys feel if I jumped over and did some Fall Guys? Do you want to see that? I finally got that game. Come watch Daddy play the superhero game. Superhero game. Superhero game. Yes, superhero game, please. Okay, please. Come here. Wow, 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 wow. Here we go. think we're gonna win this match. Mm -hmm. uh, it's gonna be tight. It's not gonna be tight. You don't think it's gonna be tight? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Everyone's saying hi, Cassie. Make a glass key. Make a glass key. Hold on. I'm I just gotta finish this match and then I'll help you. I think, I think Cassie was right. I don't think it's going to be tight. Ugh! Nope. Nope. We still have to grow a little bit before we tackle that team. In the early game, 6k is a much wider divide than in the late game. Okay. Alright, say wave hi to everyone and then Debbie's going to give you what you want. Stand up. Wave. Hi. <laughs> Alright, here's what you want. Go get mommy. Go show mommy. Okay. Mommy. Love you. Come on, mommy. Yeah. <laughs> Love that girl. Okay, so let's actually close this for now. We'll come back to that later. Yes. Yes. All right, we're gonna launch some full guys here. I'm gonna go ahead and change the stream description so nobody comes in and is like, this isn't Marvel Strike Force, which happens more than you know. Fall guys. guys done all right stream info updated let's actually switch to our other overlay here I don't know how this is gonna actually look in the game or not I don't want too much to get cut away here let me let me play with this for a second 
if I do this. I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> don't know what she's doing. No, 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 no. No, we got You know what I'll do? You guys are gonna you guys are gonna uh, look behind the curtain here. I'm gonna duplicate this. I'm gonna make something just for four guys. Who knows what she's doing? <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, I love it. Love it. All right. How do I want to do this? Let's. I'm gonna knock that out. We're gonna move the tip jaw down. I think it'll be okay. If things start getting cut out, let me know and uh, and then I'll make some changes as required. All right. I'm I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna be terrible at this. So. And let me know if the music is too loud, too. So who here plays Fall Guys, or watches Fall Guys, or cares about Fall Guys remotely? Oh my god guys, last night Cassie was inconsolable. Inconsolable. It was uh, bedtime and she did not want to go to bed. And she was demanding to wear a dress instead of pajamas. Um, nice. You have it, but you haven't played it, huh? Connection error. Weird. Let's try again. Um, so anyway, she was demanding to wear a dress. We're like, you gotta wear pajamas. It's night time. You know, we don't want her to, like, pee on a dress or something. And uh, she's, like, melting down. And we have this thing that we're, like, when she's having a hard time, we're like, oh, you're having, like, really big feelings. And so... My wife asks her, oh, are you having really big feelings? And she puts both of her hands on her little toddler bed and throws her head up towards the sky and just screams, my feelings. It was, I was like crying. I was crying. My feelings. Oh, it was so funny. Kids are the best. All right. Let's get ready for this shit, Joe. <laughs> no! <laughs> Leave me alone! <laughs> No, push! Whoa! <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, thank you. Yes, a lifetime of, uh, of platformers has prepared me to be mediocre.
Alright, I'm not even gonna try that shit. Get out of here. I love watching the white bass. <laughs> oh, goodness. You weren't even trying. <coughs> oh, that's what you get. You're trying to be clever. <laughs> So stage three is usually where I get tripped up. Stage three is is rougher for me, especially if it's that like uh, the rising slime stage. I am trash at that stage. Hot garbage. get that one. Alright, my team's gonna get that ring. Nice. Good job, yellow team. Gotcha. Beat me to it. Nicely done. Aha! Get out of here. Not bad. <laughs> hey there, news, nose, news, nose. What's your name? Epileptic nose. Welcome to the stream. Oh, I haven't actually done this stage before. I've seen people do it, though. How's the game? The game is, uh, interesting. Oh, 
No! <laughs> yeah, I saw that coming. shop actually yeah I'm enjoying it so far I literally got it last night <laughs> got it last night played for about an hour last night and uh, and then today so I'm enjoying the game Again, I, I grew up, I cut my teeth on platformer games, so, uh, it, it makes sense to me. Yeah, I got it on Steam. Um, you know, you, you develop, like, a, a muscle memory for games like this. I typically make it past the first round most of the time. Second round is a little hit or miss. Third round, I don't usually make it past. And if I do make it past the third round, usually I'm not long for the world of Fall Guys. This is my least favorite level. I've yet to actually... I shouldn't say that. I think I completed it once. Yeah, I completed it once, but... I don't do well typically on this level. But that's right, I did complete it once last night. Here's, here's where I usually get tripped up. Ugh. Cause of course the slime is rising while you're fighting with all these chuckleheads to get across. Ugh. No! And then I'm out. That's, that's where I get tripped up. The game is 20 bucks on Steam, yeah. That is correct. How, how is the overlay looking for you guys since I just threw it together? Like, is too much getting cut off on the bottom, or do you guys have a pretty good view while I'm playing? Looks good? Awesome.
I think I may actually do an impromptu stream. So so tomorrow morning we've got the uh, the Werewolf the Forsaken tabletop stream um, with Chris Allen. But uh, I'm thinking tomorrow evening maybe doing an impromptu stream, doing some ARC Survival Evolved um, on our private, the Paleo Gaming private server. Um, so if you guys are interested in that, I think I may be doing that. I've got a bunch of people that are going to be playing, so I figured we may as well stream it. Stream the shenanigans. Damn it. I knew I, knew I wasn't going to clear that one. Oh, come on. Come on! Woof. This one's not bad. I generally do fairly well on this one. Of course, right after I say I typically do well on that level, I just ate shit over and over and over again. <laughs> uh, that's actually really funny. Alright, let's see how we do. Friggin' slime climb again. Fuck this map. <laughs> Hate it. Alright, I'm not even gonna try that clusterfuck. Y'all can kill each other over it. Come on. Oh! Ha <laughs> 
God, just ate that right in the face. <laughs> no! Alright, we basically have one more shot at this, or else the slime's gonna be too high. Oh, come on, guys. No! Ah! I hate the slime climb. Hate it. Alright, I'm gonna do one more set of matches, and I think I'm gonna call it for the stream. Uh, and we'll see who else is streaming. Then we'll, uh... Yay! Pigeon Bottoms. We'll, uh... We'll maybe raid somebody, depending on who's online. Alright, Virel, have a good night, man. Yeah. Um, if you can make the Saturday streams, I'd love to see you, man. I know you said uh, during the week is rough, but always love to see in chat. Awesome. Have a good night, ma'am. I've only done this one once before, and I didn't do well. So I'm hoping I do better this run. We got through it this time, that's not bad. Come on, what do you got for me? Keep balls in your area to earn points for your team, okay. Not at all familiar with the workable strategies here other than run around like idiots until all the balls are in your area. Come on! No! 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 Ah! Uh.
Nice. Woo! Excuse me. All right. So we got, thank you, thank you, Dudash. So we got grapes here, apples there. Grapes, we're gonna stay right where we are. Get out of here. All right, watermelon, we got an apple and a grape. there. Watermelon, stay where we are. Alright, so we got grapes, cherry apple. Grapes, apple, banana. Orange was over here, right? Was it here? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Had that last minute instinct, like, mm, I think it was one more. You're gonna push your ball to the finish line. All right, I have done this one. This one I did all right the first time I did it. Let's see how we do. Go guys, go go go. I do have to say I do like the uh, cooperative ones. I don't know what everyone does. Um, okay, I know this one. Right, right. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right. I am likely not going to win, but I'm going to give it my all. Try hard pants are on. Come on! 
cover. No. Rip. Got some kind of achievement for style points or something. Well, none of our main uh, streamer friends are currently streaming, so I don't think we're going to raid anyone today. Um, but, thank you so much for stopping by the stream, guys. Um, always a pleasure to have you guys here. Tomorrow morning, um, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, we're going to be, uh, I think it's Chapter 5. Chapter 5 of the Werewolf the Forsaken story. Uh, with Chris Allen as the storyteller. Chris Allen is one of the writers and developers of the game. Um, so definitely uh, stop by and check that out. Otherwise, I'll see you guys when I see you. Have a great uh, Saturday evening. <laughs>